Yeah, so, white rabbits, white rabbits, it's uh, the 1st of March, and we're here at the Forestry Commission Gummer House car, Gummer's How car park, uh, and we've already started off with lovely views across to the Coniston Range there, and then down south, down towards Ulverston, and that way, we've just come up a monster hill. Uh, I have, in the d deep distant past, ridden it on a bike, it hurts. And we're not going down and coming back up that. We're going up one though, and then we're coming back, but we'll find out from Peter very shortly where we're going. Peter's leading us today, and so he'll do the... He'll do the... Uh, itinerary. Right, good morning Peter. Good morning Andrew, and here we are, we're at the car park at Gummer's Howl. Uh, we've come up the ro steep road up from by the lake and we're parking here and we're going to just walk up to Gummer's Howe viewpoint see if we've got any nice views over the southern and western lake district then we're coming back down the same way we're just going to walk up the road for a while and we're going to go down the Sow Howe Sow Lane and, and then we're going sort of eastward direction towards the Winster Valley and this is all downhill to right. Cartmel Fell Church which is here and then we're going to come back up possibly there. look look around Cartmel Fell Church it's very scenic very old church and then we wend our way back oh, and this is uphill so we finish uphill back at the cars and he's the leader says it's six miles with 1241 feet of ascent oh dear right so we'll see how we go we're nine today are we we are nine we today. are nine today so it's just just precipitating very very slightly but this wasn't forecast but uh, we'll see how we go up gummers how first and back to the cars for a drink and then off so nine as I say John Hines is behind there and then uh, that's where we're heading up there for the first first bit and then back for a bit of a drink so it's follow me leader time is it we're off we're off Get on up there. Right. Away you go then. One, two, up two. Away you go. I think Bob's going to wait till we come back. Right. <laughs> we'll just come out of the car park there. And like Peter said, the Southern Lakes, that's the south end of Windermere. Beautiful across there to the Coniston Range. And we're going up this bit. And having left rucksacks behind in the cars, uh, we've now got no waterproofs, so the rain isn't helping us. Anyhow, we're going up here, and then I think we're going across to there, which is Gummer's Hell. Yeah. Mum, they've seen me. <laughs> it's camouflage now. <laughs> There's a little new calf just behind here that was lying down by a tree stump before and you couldn't see it yeah it's there behind its mum now well the bar up there isn't one of ours uh, here's our leadership group on its way up and we've just come up from down there and it was the fair old pull and if you look where are we yeah there's the cars parts over there So we come up, drop down a little bit, come back up 
and we're still climbing still going up and you're leading the way and up to the top so here we are top of Gummer's How looking south southeast that way over towards the bay and our side and a bit of rain over to the How Guilds around by the How Guilds little towns around and about here over into the lakes themselves look at this splendid absolutely splendid the Helvellyn range a bit of Windermere there coming round top end of Windermere there and then we've got here the Langdales and then coming further round the Coniston Hills I'm going to have to make my way back so excuse the juggles that's so uh, Marcus yeah back to Coniston back to back to uh, uh, towards Ulverston and Grange uh, sorry Ulverston over there over the bay over the bay and right back around here what a 360 that is absolutely fantastic so there we go that's one of the uh, Lake District's uh, Windermere's um, leisure steamers I think it's probably not a ferry could be though actually coming away from it now look at that view look at that view wonderful wonderful view back up the lake at Windermere there that'll be Bowness just over the peak there, part of Bowness, Windermere village itself and then the lake swings round there, round Belle Isle and round Windermere basin and then just goes up to Ambleside at the top there which is behind this clump fabulous, fabulous Big sky, big, big sky, beautiful day. So down the bottom here we've got the uh, Lakeside Hotel at Newby Bridge and the uh, steamer jetties, ferry jetties and that's probably this fella's aiming to the one that we looked at before there he is oh, there she is beautiful having done our uh, little views from the top and this is this and this is that and pantomime time of oh no it's not oh yes it is we're now making our way down coming down Gummer's Howe it looks a bit more of an attractive path than the one we went up actually it's a lot better condition pebbled group over there in front of me just heading our way back to the car park to uh, probably have a little break there a little drink and then set off again Sorry, there we go. There's our little boat that was coming down the Pleasure Craft. That's now at uh, Lakeside. There's one of the steamers, the ferry steamers, which are used for leisure and for commuting. So that'll go from here up to Ambleside. And then you can get the railway 
from there over to uh, Hammerthwaite. Lovely little day out with your children, get the boat, get the, uh, the train from Hammerthwaite up to Lakeside and then the boat up to either Bowness or Ambleside. It's lovely. And we're off again now. Coming into a little bit more. We've just been back to the cars and our 11s is and uh, and now we're setting off up to a place called Sowhow Lane about 100 yards we just walked up the road off the track now apparently a lot of this is downhill saving the uphill for on the way back to the cars this afternoon Well, the footpath sign said uh, back to the lane was 100 yards. We've been walking for a bit of time, I'd say it's nearer 250. But, uh, we're here, we're back at the road. Going to do a bit more road walking now and then we'll head off again. Alright, it's 500 yards on there, Neil. And there's uh, the road we're going to just walk up there. That's going over that way towards Bolden Bridge. It's cloudy today, it's windy, it's cold when the sun's not out, it's lovely when the sun's out. But you've got to watch it. Well, it's lunchtime now. And to uh, steal a bit from Joseph and his amazing, amazing technical dream coat, any tree will do. Well, Peter's found a stump there, and he's found a blow over there. John's just nicely in a little crook of them. Peter's on another. Neil's on another over there. I've got a lovely one. A lovely. Sink for night. There we go. Little glove cushion and uh, the banana carrier. Very sheltered. You can hear the wind blowing across the tops. And it's nice in here. So I'm just having a nice little uh, lunch break. I'm still just in this bit of the lakes where there's a lot of forestry. A lot of the trees down. This was a lucky escape for this old building. It's a nice out barn, is that? Just had lunch. Just setting off now. Off again now. Just uh, weather's playing up a little bit. It's a little bit uh, grey and a little bit of damp in the air. This is a, a fine old barn, isn't it? It's, oh, it might be a house, actually. It is. Is it a house? All oh, right. Oh, well, I was trying very hard to work out where we were there and tell everybody on the film where we were, but uh, we're lost. Well, we're not lost. We're walking where we're walking, but we're trying to work out what... This is in front of us, across to the right now, we're wondering whether that's Whitbarrow Scar, which we walked on a number of times. I think this over here, this little area here, uh, these outposts are going to be Bowland Bridge, I think, and over towards Kendall in that way. It's uh, blowy, as you can probably hear, the mic will be picking up some wind. Uh, it's chilly, uh, but the rain's held off again, and we're back on dry land, so let's keep going. So following on from last week's question about crocus, crocuses and croci, we're now, what's occupying us today is whether this is so-ho, so-how, or so-how, or so-ho, I don't know. What do you think? Answers on a postcard. Here's another bit of the blowdown. And these have come, as you can see, right across this little lane that we're walking up. And cut 
back. It's a, and they made a mess of your car, I think, if you're doing here when they dropped. So we're heading off the road now to uh, Cartmel Fell Church. And uh, this is a new, newest yeah. public footpath um, signpost, finger post. And the inscription on the post itself says, it's not the path we follow, it's the trail we leave behind. So, there you go. This is the uh, churchyard at Cartmel Fell Church, which we just diverted off the road to come into, just because it's... Uh, just on the route. So here we are. And there we go. A little church just miles away from anywhere. It will have been serving the local farming communities, no doubt. People coming in here. And the people of Cartmel Fell. A lovely little church. That's a nice little font as well. Lovely. And now, especially for for uh, for Lenny, who requested lots of flowers today. I'm sorry it's in the graveyard, but here's the snowdrops, and there's the. Uh, crocuses, croci, what are we on? Oh, I don't know what we're on. I don't know what we're called. We'll try and find some more fuel in soon. And that was our diversion down to the church at Cartmel Fell. Come back up to the junction where we turned off down the little footpath. There's the signpost down to the fell. Across the road, coming back over the stile. And now we're going to go uphill. There's a monument at the top. We're going to keep that to our left, so our leader says. So, upwards. It's not a bad time to be doing this walk because, as you can see now, we're walking through on a trail that's going through Bracken either side. And I'm guessing that in late July, August, early September, this Bracken will be feet high. One of our colleagues who's on the C group today would probably disappear and be lost forever if he walked in the middle of it. But uh, it just shows the diversity of terrain that we do encounter on the south and the South Lake District. Another one knocked down. But just look at this, look at how the weather's affected the clean the roots and then the stone. And the, rocks in between. and the stone and rocks Impressive. all over, all over in it. Yeah. Stone everywhere. Just amazing how nature works, and the tree is still growing. It's still alive. That sky's going greyer. Four, five, six, including me. Three more. We're all here. Everybody's still walking. Everybody's still going. We're having a little uh, stand-up two o'clock brew here. And just for my dear wife, I've found you some. There you go. They're out down here. The daffs are blooming. So, spring is obviously on its way because these lovely daffs are coming out. We have about just over a mile to go now, heading back towards Gubbers Howe and the car park. And you can just see the difference that we get in weather. Look over there. Beautiful sunlight on those hills. Here it's freezing, bitterly cold, windy grey sky, threatening skies, it's holding off just about, but it is a very 
threatening day. Look at those, those don't look kind to this all. But we're getting there. It's been a day of quite a few ups and downs today. Uh, we did say at the start 1200 feet. We're still going up on this bit. In the last mile or so. Uh, so I think there's going to be some sore legs in the morning. Tired bodies tonight. We're not too far to go now. And now just to show that we do work in circles. We've now come right the way back to the farm where we turned off at this finger post. And went down to the town over there just before we had lunch. So we're uh, not far off the cars now. So I'm just doing the last uphill, the last uphill, coming back along the road, following Eddie. Gummer's how over there. I'm glad we don't have to climb that now. And across to the Coniston Old Man and Weatherlam over there. Just coming into view. Yeah. Over the back of there. And then uh, And then down here. Just back down here. A few hundred yards now down to the cars. And here we are, back at the cars, debooting, reshoeing. It's been uh, a five and a half mile walk that lasted 6.7. So, as I say, there's some tired legs. Next week we're in Abbeystead. There should be some nice flowers there for my good lady. I hope so, or else I'll be in trouble. Anyway, see you next week, folks.